If you're unhappy about the fact that your property has lost significant value recently, well, you're going to be infuriated over what I have to tell you right now. One man, that's right, one man has single-handedly crippled our already struggling housing market, destroyed the careers of thousands of honest, reputable, licensed appraisers, cost home buyers, home sellers, and the entire real estate industry untold millions of dollars while crushing our home values. How does that feel? That man is New York State Attorney General Andrew Cuomo. See, in 2007, Cuomo prosecuted Washington Mutual for influencing a huge appraisal management company into inflating property values in order to fund more loans. Well, they should have been prosecuted. But then Andrew Cuomo decided to go a step further. With nothing short of legal bullying, he forced already fragile Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac into adopting a new code. It's called the Home Valuation Code of Conduct, or HVCC. So how does HVCC cause so many problems? Well, HVCC eliminates all communication between everyone involved in the lending process and the appraisers. Even licensed lenders and loan officers are prohibited from ordering appraisals and communicating with them in any fashion, even when there's a problem with the appraisal that the consumer has paid for. So get this. As a result, all lenders are now ordering appraisals through large appraisal management companies, or AMCs. Yeah, that's right. The same kind of setup Washington Mutual is prosecuted over in the first place. Clearly this is causing huge problems. Since AMCs are taking up to 40% of the appraisal fee and keeping it, it's forcing the local independent career appraisers out of business, leaving them with only new, inexperienced, and oftentimes unlicensed appraisers to do the job. So now we're left with a bad appraisal and no way to communicate with them. As a result, transactions are failing in droves, and even though HVCC says that an appraisal should be portable between lenders, there isn't a law requiring the lender to accept an outside appraisal. So 95% of the time, it will cost the buyer another appraisal fee for a second opinion. Look, HVCC is misguided and it needs to end. Licensed professionals need the ability to communicate and we need our local skilled appraisers in the field helping buyers and sellers. It's that simple. I mean, just listen to some of these comments in the petition. Three otherwise great deals for my buyers have been delayed, resulting in increased fees and expenses associated with unnecessarily delayed settlements. R. Connors, Fairfax, Virginia. I'm a first time home buyer and had to pay two appraisals, $450 each. $450 is a lot of money when I could only afford putting down 3.5% on my purchase. S. Luong, home buyer. I've lost 30% of my deals due to inexperienced appraisers who are completely clueless on how to do an appraisal or how to run comps. All of the experienced appraisers that I have ever known quit the business as a result. H. Daniels, Montgomery, Texas. 37 years an appraiser, 27 of those years independent appraiser. Small business working at home. Now, no work. Been a very depressing month with no phone calls. Please help, need work. D. Williams, appraiser. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac purchased 70% of all the mortgages done in the United States. 70%. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are government-sponsored enterprises and are in conservatorship right now being overseen by the Office of Federal Housing Oversight, the federal government. How can our elected officials stand by and let an attorney from New York inflict such a devastating code on the organizations that are considered to be a major part of the backbone of our economy without any involvement whatsoever? How? Well, it looks like we're going to have to work together to get something done about HVCC. Please sign the petition and forward it to everyone you know asking them to do the same. Together, we just might be heard by our tone-deaf elected officials. Thank you.